But mine doesn't, like it don't change. However they add you is how it stays. So what, what is, um... Mine destroyed me's world. Oh, okay. It was, it was, it was like that the longest, so that's... And then, but she brand. said, Childish Brandino. I said, who? <laughs> I said, oh, I love that. Childish Brandino. He said, what? Mine <laughs> says, Troy meets world. Yeah, that, that, I said, that was my favorite. I think it has a heartbreak next to it. That sounds like me. I think that does sound like you. I said, that, that's his aesthetic. As long as the heartbreak's in there, you gotta get the message across. <laughs> you know, welcome to... Jukebox. Oh! <laughs> oh! Welcome to the Jukebox. I'm your host, Brandon. This is Cam. Come on. Travis. Today we are reviewing The Miseducation of Lauren Hill by No, not that Lauren Hill. Miss Lauren Hill. Yes. If you're nasty. <laughs> he said this ball was. Um, I am. Oh no. <laughs> what do y'all rate this album? Eight. I'm gonna give it a seven. That was a solid eight. <laughs> eight. I like that. I feel like I should have given it an eight to you that I wasn't like <laughs> I had like a seven for it. Yeah. It's it's really good. It is really really good. It's really long. All it's, the songs are really long. Mm -hmm. But that's because they all have like outros and shit. Yeah. But, but it is long though. It was much longer than I thought it was gonna be. It's them classes. The classes are in session. I, I do like the the classroom aspect of it. But the only thing I don't like about it is how it's the same subject. The entire time. I thought, I thought it was going to change, but it was like just more questions about love. And I was like, oh, this is still going. Like, it was like, but, but I do fuck with that. Um, and everybody's ratchet right ass kid to the background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shaquan, you here? <laughs> present. Oh, like Shaquan. Mm -hmm. Present. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they got everybody. This is the inner city. It's my school. cousin, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you said the inner city. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> Hate it. <laughs> I do like this album, but I was low-key let down by it. Not by it's not Lauren Hill's fault. But it's like when everybody's talking about perfect albums, everybody's like, this is a perfect album. And I don't think it's perfect. I think it's a good album, but I don't think it's a perfect album. That I, it's good, not great. And I don't think it lives up to everybody else's everybody puts it on such a pedestal. To me, it didn't fill the shoes that everybody Okay. Did. So I had the same the same thought process. And also Maybe this isn't her fault. Maybe this is just like you're saying. It's just the fault of the, the, the mythos that comes with this mm -hmm. this album. Everybody's talking about she's like the goat female rapper. So I came in here expecting like bars, bars, <laughs> like real life bars. I don't know. She and, gave me bars. No, she, she she's got bars, and she's like you. She is, but like she didn't live up to that hype. She's not. She's not the greatest of all time. That's just my thoughts. I think it's arguable. I, yeah, I, I, it's a heavy debatable thing. Yeah, I think she 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 gave me enough lyrics where I was like, this is. I can see why people would say she could hang with the great female rappers because she really did do her thing. Oh, I think she can hang, but I don't think she's. I like, I don't, I don't, I've, I've I don't, listened to enough rap to be able to say if I think you're. I've heard a lot of female rappers, but it really don't matter. It just really depends on your sales. Like, you yeah. can be a great rapper and nobody cares. I also don't think she has enough of a catalog, but that's. Neither here nor there. That's like the most arguable thing about it because she only has this one album besides the bougie stuff. She did her fucking thing. I feel like they should make sure you can break it. I mean, hey, yeah, especially for how many people like really, really rock with Lauren Hill. Like, you would think that she got the most albums out right now. Yeah. The, the, way, the way people discuss her is like, I don't know. Yeah, because you kind of forget she really doesn't have that discography like a lot of people do. Because how, like, I mean, goatish that she is, like, damn. But people talk. She comes up in the conversation all the time. That's kind like, of like it's not uh, even not even a little bit of the time. She's in the conversation all the time. She gets kind of the same thing Andre 3000 gets, to where it's like we know he's a great rapper, but he doesn't have enough solo work to where it's like is he really the greatest? But I, but I, I, and, that, that, that doesn't take away from, from the ability. To yeah, me. I guess yeah. I agree. I see. I see what you're saying. I because I made that same comparison earlier, but I still think that Andre 3000 is rapping on everything he does. Mm -hmm. So. That's good. Yeah. Everything I've heard from her for Fuji's was her singing. Which is, I can't contribute your singing ability to your status as the greatest rapper. If she was rapping in all the Fuji albums, that's different. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I haven't listened to enough Fuji's to where I was. I haven't either. I haven't either to be able to say, don't, don't, like, I feel like it was the time me. that it was. Mm -hmm. Because rap was very materialistic back then. 
I'm with that. And you. for a woman to come on the scene and, and rap about something with substance was kind of like, like, wow, this, yeah. is, this is fresh. This exactly. is new. Like, she was kind of like their <coughs> J. Cole, in a sense. I was thinking that, too. Like, I was thinking yeah, that. Yeah, I can get that. When J. Cole came out, there was a lot of the drill rap, the trap rap, all that scene was hot. But then you had J. Cole and you had Kendrick. Yeah. It was like, you had all those people rapping back then, gangster rap and stuff like that. Then you had Lauren Hill. And you had other people in that same lane. And also, like, this is like 90s, right? 90s? I'm talking 90s. about 90s, early 2000s. Yeah, mm-hmm. 90s. Around that era. So that, that's around the time where, like, Missy Elliott and all them were, yeah, like, dance like, music. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, it was, like, dance music working for females. Kim, or just, like, talking about sex. Material. I was like, we're looking. Yeah, but I said, n- nothing, was, nothing was really deep. Yeah, it was yeah. like Missy Elliott. Yeah, Kim, she came with a snap and talking about uh, struggles and shit. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, really just the culture of black people as a whole back then too. It was just kind of everything was materialistic with everyone. Which is the main thing I um, uh, that's my main adoration for this album was how okay, true. Stewart. Like, like she, she she was she really spoke her truth more than anything. I feel yeah. like yeah, it was like, very like I said it was very poetic. It was very where she came from, where she had to deal with her ideals on certain things. It wasn't just like. I'm right, like it wasn't just a materialistic thing. Yeah, like I'm just, a, think, uh, think about how many songs or how much music back then was all about women empowerment. Like there wasn't a lot. There wasn't. There was next to nothing. She was one of them. And Lauryn Hill came in like, let me tell you something, baby. You ain't got to get your nails done by these Koreans. <laughs> your regular nails is cute. Like, <laughs> bite them shits if you want to, bitch. Like, it's about you. But like, your regular nails. Are cute. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Before we get to the song by song breakdown, um, we can just, I feel like, discuss our favorites, least favorites right now. My favorite's The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. The song. Which is fair. That's a good one. Mine's Every Ghetto, Every City. I think everybody has a different one for this album. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, Can't Take My Eyes Off of You was a It is. That's your, that, I thought your favorite was the. Listen, the only reason why I've got a lot of. It's because it reminded me of the original version of that song. Because it's a cover of the original. So it reminded me a lot. I was like, this doesn't sound like the one I remember. I, I didn't know that. I've, yeah, I've only known this version. It goes Look, back to like the 60s, I think. I was like, you know how you be telling me I got like random knowledge about stuff? Mm-hmm. That's Brandon with music. I felt <laughs> Every song, he's like, that's a cover. Like, oh, okay. I just, I just remember it. I was like, I heard it's like in commercials and oh, stuff. So. No covers. But um, my favorite was, let me, let me look at it. To Zion was probably my favorite. Oh. I love design and um, X Factor is one of my favorite. X Factor is good too. Do up, just I remember Do up more. Do up, I do, but yeah, uh, but you can't take away from the fact that song's a banger. Yeah. But uh, Superstar is one of my underrated ones because I feel Super like I feel like not a lot of people really uh, really know about that song and that shit. I don't know, it's just so smooth and that shit come come on. Baby. I'm like yes, bitch, <laughs> light your fire in. That's how I feel about everything is everything. Cause that song will randomly come on like on my shelf on it. I'll just be uh, vibing to it without noticing it's on everything. <laughs> One thing I do like about the album too that for a lot of these albums didn't have, I feel like this album really picked up near the end. Cause after a point I was like, these songs are just getting really long to me. Yeah. And I was like, they're starting to just be like, just going. At it. But then like the last like four songs, I was like, I like all of these. Like, every last one. The middle songs all kind of the same essence to it. Kind of vibe. They're like yeah, the but same, but there's the enough album, different to where they stand out from each other. The album, for the most part, is the same mood. Yeah. It's all like mm-hmm. love. How do you feel about love? How do you feel but about I feel like in that? the middle, even the beats got to getting similar. Yeah. And, and then, like, near the end, it was like more yeah. singing and more stuff like that. And I was like, I like yeah, this. they wanted to some, some sprinkle of other people. I, I was like, Mary come on, features. I was like, let's, 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 go, let's go hard. I like yeah, this. Once it got to the Mary J feature, that's when the, the it didn't seem as similar as it did in the four through yeah. the Eight. There was more singing then, and the beginning was more rap, yeah. and it just became more singing. It was cool. But now we get to the, the song by song breakdown, like we always do. The intro. That shit was raw. <laughs> <laughs> we enjoy hearing that Lauren Hill wasn't there. <laughs> Joe wasn't there. You get that. Shit. Right. Exactly. He was like, uh, Miss Hill. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, I guess moving on. Big Juan. <laughs> <laughs> So y'all know what it is. Like, oh, they want to. Uh, Lost Ones. I did like Lost Ones. It was cool. I en- I enjoy Lost Ones a Lost lot. Lost Ones was good. That's like maybe top three, top five for me. I like Lost Ones. Like I that. Think what ruined it for me is that I had I had a, a technical difficulty. 
I heard the intro and then it went. For some reason, I didn't have it on shuffle. I made sure I didn't have it on shuffle, but X Factor played right after. I was like, okay, this is a smooth little transition. And I was like, but I swear this is song three. So I go back and I'm like, all right, I skipped Lost Ones. And I was like, it just didn't flow into the same thing, the song mm. as well. It was one of those things like uh, Kenny said that one day. I didn't hear the intro. And then when I went back and listened to the intro, I hated it. <laughs> yeah, it was the timing of it. Yeah, movie. so it was like Lost Ones was cool, but I was really excited for X Factors to come on. I will say about Lost Ones, she does come in mad aggressive. Yeah, and it gets Because that, too. that, um, that roll call is like, it's that real serene music. And mm-hmm. him just like calmly calling out people's names. So you kind of expect, like, if X Factor was next, I would actually prefer that. Mm-hmm. Because in Lost One, she'd be like, just It's funny how I wanted that. I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. Like, I thought you weren't here, Miss <laughs> Right. <laughs> it's a five minute song. So once it gets to that halfway point, and it's like, that's when the you chorus resets again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I'm she like, says like, okay. it okay. You yeah. might win some, but you just lost Literally, one. You might seconds. win some, but you just win. And they're like, oh, like okay. all right, and I lost I look it. look up at my phone. <laughs> Halfway through. Okay, let's see. I'm still, still, I'm still winning and losing some. Like, shit. But, and I'm gonna, and honestly, the song was so long to the point where I was thinking about, like, would I be mad if I lose some? But all the <laughs> <laughs> You talking about the message? Yeah, true. <laughs> I, I sat there and I was like, would I really be that mad if I lost? Like, you know what? I, I actually have lost one. <laughs> I, but I, I, but mean, I do win some. If I'm winning some. Like, I'm, 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 I'm alright with this. Exactly. <laughs> that plays a pretty good ratio. <laughs> the win to lose ratio isn't too bad. Wait, yeah. That's how long the song was. <laughs> I'm winning some, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I've only lost one. <laughs> Even if I lose one for every song, that's still better. Than <laughs> yeah, this is great. That's still a lot of work I'm doing. <laughs> this sounds like a good life to live. <laughs> and then the song ends, and I'm like, oh, wait, I, forgot. Stop, yeah. I was listening to a song here. Then the next one, X Factor, where that one speaks to my soul. And if you're banger. from the new generation, Nice for What comes from this. So, the banger of bangers. Oh, I forgot that. I was like, what are yeah. you talking about? I was like, yeah. oh my god, it does. Yeah. I said, I'm not sure I know what Nice for What is. A Drake? I was like, you don't? Oh, yeah, I do. You a Draker? I was like, excuse me. I'm a Draker, not a real Draker. Okay, listen, we're going to take it yes. to the side. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did, did you just say? <laughs> That's actually good, though. I think we could all agree. Yeah. Zion. Yeah. Zion. Zion, I'm not like. That's the thing. Do, 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 That's my shit. Why you pull that out so quick? My mom used to play this song like every time we got in the car. It was so jazzy. <laughs> I didn't think she had it in her. It was so jazzy. He said I didn't think she had it in her. I didn't think she had it in her. Like, oh, damn it, come on, go home. <laughs> I'm about to. Um, I want to <laughs> zoom in on my face on that, that one. Was, I, 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 I don't know how I look. That was everything I needed that for. for. For me, I enjoyed that more than the song. I, like, I, I might have bumped it up to. To, to stay at that point. Exactly. <laughs> that shit's my. That, it's such a stamp and then have Mari's signature next to you. <laughs> <laughs> like with the, <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> it comes with an audio message. Let me tell y'all. It's a card, those cards with the little audio. I really, that, has, that song has a special place in my heart because it's so beautiful. I was saying, ain't no scratch and sips. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a scratch and listen. You're like, what the shit? I hate that ain't no scratch and sniff. Like Zion. Exactly. <laughs> she, she, she killed that song though. That's, yeah, but like I was like, I heard this, I was like, what, what is this? Carlos Santana song? came in though. Like that was it was it, it was it was true to say featuring Carlos Santana on that. Like, <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> usually people don't do that for instrumentals, but she had to put featuring <laughs> this nigga Carlos that, that, Santana. That, that, that was Thundercat. <laughs> that was Thundercat before Thundercat. Yeah, before okay. Thundercat was singing. Like, He's here, don't you forget. In the back. <laughs> <laughs> Not him, it was me, but they came in with a doo doo doo. That's how active it is. That's like every Thunder Cat I'm thinking Thunder Cat playing Bean Bass. I'm about to say that nigga bass game crazy. Thunder Cat playing Bean Bass. Why he say that with so much bass in his voice? He played a Bean Bass. I know his voice dropped 17 octaves. Have you ever seen Thunder Cat play the bass? I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. That nigga said it's not a type of mean bass. <laughs> mean bass. Like, <laughs> on the bass. <laughs> <laughs> Who shit? <laughs> All 
All right, we got doo wop next. Doo wop. I like this one. We all go ahead and. I wish the name the original name was doo wop. Honestly, go ahead and stamp that bad boy. Okay. It's like even if you you did it, listen to Lauren Hill for some reason you knew that part of the song. I feel like it was you just walking around. Talking about all the ancient like, niggas. I was born in the year ninety eight. I don't know if I this song was so big that. I just remember it from on the radio in that year. Or, <laughs> right. Just or like if, they, if it was that big to where they kept playing it like years on years on end to where. Probably little either bit way, it's huge. Yeah. So probably a little bit. Did you remember it from years. infancy? Bro, like I remember that. that song very clearly. Because they, but like, not only was she calling out ain't shit niggas, she was calling out ain't shit bitches yeah, too. That's what I'm saying. Because she was like, hey, but also watch really out for them really bitches trying to trap your ass. <laughs> I fuck with that one. That's that's one of the ones that has like some of the best lyrics on there. Yeah. Like yeah, that shit really makes you think about yourself. Like damn, yeah. just everything about it, the whole vibe of the song. Yeah, like, aside from it just being a bop in itself, it's called, the, the called lyrics in that. Jezebel's yeah, shit. like that was the sin that did Jezebel. In okay, her. Oh. like you not just call me a Jezebel. <laughs> like is it me? Am I call, call me a hussy. <laughs> in front of my I love calling. Friends. I love calling people Jezebels. Hussy. <laughs> that's not what I go for often. My favorite insult is wench, actually. That's my favorite. I, I, oh, I might have to throw I just, that. I might I throw that in my, it, but that's my, in my arsenal. I call people knaves. <laughs> like, I don't hand me knaves. I don't like that. I call mm. people peasant. <laughs> peasant, yep. I call the bitch common. That, that's, wow. that's worse than basic. Ooh. That is. You common ass bitch. <laughs> I would be angry. <laughs> they, they, they get angry. You would get your shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, call 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 right. That's the point. <laughs> call her a base weapon. Hate it. The superstar. Bimbo's a good one too. Bimbo? Wow. <laughs> it's a superstar Bimbo's. <laughs> Wait a minute, what are you? we ain't done with these jokes yet. <laughs> also, Bimbo. <laughs> these hussies. He said, before we move on, I got more to take. <laughs> these harlots. Wow. Call it the problem too. I fuck with that one. I used to use that often. I'm just out here downing women for no reason. Call, I'm, not, I'm, I'm it's not just women. Har- I call more women. niggas harlots than women. Harlot just takes me back to like the Salem witch. Yeah, that's exactly, exactly what they're trying to say. Exactly. You got Scarlet A on your chest, bitch. Okay, you a whole harlot. <laughs> exactly. Fucking Salem. It's <laughs> <laughs> really just burning bitches. Just a threat. <laughs> You see, I don't like the way you eat that sandwich. Burn her. Like, you know what? Listen, she listen survive, if she drowns, she's not a witch. But if she, she come back Why up, that bitch a like, witch and she gotta die anyway. Witches, bro. Why would they not fuck y'all up after that? Why are y'all testing these witches? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, they just often niggas for fun at this yeah. point. Like, <laughs> mm. Like, she went down my nigga, like, witch. What was the day they realized? Like, maybe, maybe ain't none of these niggas witches. Like, maybe, maybe we just burning people. <laughs> For fun, like really for fun. For fun. I do want to know what they, what like <laughs> that was like. You know what I mean? Like the the revelation where they're like, look, like, we better take that one overboard. <laughs> they're like, wait a second, wait a second. Listen, Jim, we have killed a lot of motherfuckers. <laughs> Not one has been a witch yet, right? right? Yeah. Maybe we're the witches. I grew, I grew up with maybe, George. Maybe we're the witches. We were, me and George were next door neighbors all through life. We burned him and his wife for being witches. God damn it! No, all through life, him <laughs> and his wife. Maybe we're wrong. Like, I want to know exactly what that was like. I, w- I want, you know I what? Like it did you know what? We've got Hamilton as a musical. I want the Salem Witch Trials as a musical. Like, imagine being in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> like, you happen to be I standing, in before. standing next to something and something <laughs> just fall over before. and they think it was you. They're like, damn, they just knocked that over what they mind. Like, bitch, that was the wind. <laughs> I just, I just left. Like, I just came out here. Like, this is season season's changing. You know, right? <laughs> like, mm. They sat there and they said, wait a second. Wait a fucking second. Is that green leaf? That was, that was green yesterday, right? That shit brown today that you standing next to it. Right, it's right next to your house. Whole bitch. family of which got burned. Burn the house down. Like damn. And like, the tree. I'm I'm new here. Whole family's one witch. I'm not even one, 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 one witch. <laughs> <laughs> one whole witch. It's like the one family, one whole witch. <laughs> also, what what did they think? Like if they, they burn the witches, like they could eventually like eradicate witches? No. Also, was it like was it like a disease? No. Did it was you a catch test. it? Yeah. They said if you catch fire and survive, you're a witch. If you die, then it was always one big theory, and it did not work once. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Like if they if they didn't catch fire, they on your ass after that. It's like you there's a it's a lose lose. I was like, I wonder how the people that like never and who's the one that proved like what if died witches, or anything like what if witches could burn like who's who, how did they know that they could right I'm not, I'm like who came up with that theory he like like you know what if a bitch drowned. <laughs> You know, like, but, 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 like, niggas drown every day. <laughs> they would stone like, them, be, too. What you talking about? Which is, like, what was the test there? Like, if I hit you with this rock and it doesn't hurt, you're a witch? How like, many of these rocks did you take? Right. Right. 
You can take 74, you a real witch. <laughs> I kind of just to this album before, but like I I could zone out to a lot of the songs. It's just like some of the songs are just like that. Especially just knowing what comes after for it, because yeah. the father like the, the prayers like I know it's gonna come. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just here. Floating. Honestly, that's a good point, Cam, because like most of this album is like something that I feel like I could zone out to. Like back back back. Like this this is um, little five beats to study to study it, it, and relax. It does make it does make good background music. And that's what this yeah. was. Like I would wake up when it hurts so bad, I'd be like, Oh god. My mm-hmm. mom is down there doing this shit. Like this is <laughs> like in my room. To and you just zone out and like not you just zone out. Down there the 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 right. I, I say you go down there, you gonna be doing shit too. Yeah, out there down there doing dishes and shit. Some shit. Listening to this. You yeah. zoning out thinking about some bull. I was thinking about how your life can change. Right. Every, every person that did you wrong. Exactly. You like I can't finish. I say your mom put on some R&B. You know you, you you make eye contact with her. You, your your whole you, day you, stuff. You clean it all day. It, yeah. Even if you don't make eye contact, there was enough of us about where it's like y'all all cleaning. Right. There's too many of y'all to not be cleaning. My mom like you hear this Warren Hill down here. Just get your ass down here. Right. That, that, that was that was a tell and tell. Get your ass out. I felt that. So you going to you, you all right? <laughs> every ghetto, every city. I did like this one too. This was a good one. <laughs> Travis's favorite. I'm gonna say it's yeah, not my top, my favorite. but it's not my bottom. I really liked. Yeah, I liked the story. I liked. I liked all of it. I like that for you. Felt like he was from every ghetto and every city. I am. <laughs> I mean, said I am. I like a rep in every hood. Right. <laughs> the Baltimore, Jacksonville, all them shit. You said rep, rep your set. I'm all, all of them. <laughs> Got the city on all, all his bags. Okay. Like, <laughs> city on T dot. Exactly. Nothing even matters. Jamaica Burning Queens. Ham, all that. Nothing even matters. The whole Eastside Compton. That this motherfucker is out here like Harlot again. <laughs> yep. Nigga, <laughs> city. <laughs> <laughs> out here talking about D'Angelo. <laughs> Jack City. God damn it. He was on a whole new song, and he was just like, he was going. I'm going. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, D'Angelo did come in mad smooth. He said, "Damn, only in our world, like damn." <laughs> that that whole little that little run he came in that. Bitch, yeah, he came in and I was like, what with his, with his O's. Yeah. I was like, who the fuck? Nobody asked you for this. I thought you was writing something down. I was like, nigga, what nah. you writing? <laughs> nah, it's, it's just an old school stereo. You got to, what the fuck is this? You just know that nigga came in with his shirt off. Like, 
Oh, he that, had to. The, like the, how he came in, he came into the uh, studio with his nipples out. Like, like come on, bro. The, I feel like Prime D'Angelo was always shirtless. I feel like he was Absolutely. just like never wearing shirts. Had a button up on. Him look like Tyrese in that album cover. Vest, no shirt. Oh, no. I, I hate that. Oh, no. <laughs> don't really don't, do, that. D'Angelo like that. <laughs> don't do D'Angelo like that. Don't do D'Angelo like that. He deserves so much more respect than that. <laughs> Y'all said his nipples was out. I didn't want him to be out. Put a vest on my nigga. <laughs> Now listen, because D'Angelo had his nipples out all the time. He did. Okay? He was JR but at least he wasn't wearing no he fucking vest. He had nipples all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, get that shit. Because they was on every album cover. <laughs> you okay? have to see them. Like, he's sitting there looking at his nipples. Like, he was just sitting there looking at you like this. No, his nipples looking at you. Oh, he's like, right. He's, nipples out here trying to seduce you. He's just like, nigga, I didn't ask for this. Motherfucker. Exactly. Like, please, put it away. We get to be in this dude. Cause I gotta take my shirt off to get in my element. Right, yeah, y'all know what time it is. Like Johnny Bravo. I'm not feeling it. Like something's missing. I'm like, yo, like stop, stop it. I'm like, bro, slow down. No. <laughs> it's all good, y'all. It's all traumatic for you. Yeah, but there's only one condition. There's gotta be one nigga there on yo duty. Like, oh, there's always gotta be one nigga ready for the yo. <laughs> just, just flex that bitch off. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Stop. I'll be mad if he did that. Whose kid shirt do you got on? Just one quick flex. It's my son's. <laughs> it's Junior. <laughs> I'm like, I hate this. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Angelo was really shame. always shirtless. <laughs> Like, I really cannot think of a time, bro. Like, <laughs> what? I, like, I like that shirt on his shirt on. Like, come on, D'Angelo, bro. Even when he gets awards on yeah. the stage. I would like to thank y'all. <laughs> <laughs> <Just do it. laughs> Put it. There's kids out here. <laughs> yeah, suit pants and no, no suit top. <laughs> Got his gators on. <laughs> With some loafers. Fedora. Like... <laughs> I think, where is your shirt? Still so had his chains on too. Like, like you're over, you're overdressed from the bottom half. Right. Yes. <laughs> Understand it's the BET award. <laughs> you're overdressed. And bitches are still excited about it. <laughs> yeah, nobody gave a damn. Low key niggas too. Like, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it must be the Angelo. Yeah, look, look at the Angelo up there. I see your nipples, brother. Like, come on, man. If I ever say <laughs> I see brother. your nipples, brother. <laughs> Go ahead, no, go ahead and take me out. Tell me your nipples, brother. He said, just go ahead and take me out. Because that's not, that's not, that's not me anymore. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> everything is everything. <sighs> everything is everything. Candidate for uh, best beat. Yeah, yeah, that actually was the best beat for me. I felt that. I forgot how good the beat was until you just said that. I was like, yeah. Because I was going to say that, that's the best beat on the album. That shit came in clean. I don't know. Get out and bring up that Carlos Santana one more time. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Watch it, you go and your shit gonna be like, damn, God damn it. Shoulders are constantly moving. <laughs> Her exactly. shoulders are like water. Even when it's still, it's still moving. Even when it's still, it's still moving. Shoulders. All the time, shoulders. All the time, wiggling. Just and please don't, don't <laughs> wiggle it. <laughs> now look, you want just smack her shoulder and just like, <laughs> over here like a fucking bobblehead and she's exactly. like, God damn it. <laughs> Please stop. Can you imagine that was a condition? They've had things to do today, man. <laughs> <laughs> I sit here and wiggle. Just fucking piss. <laughs> oh, please that was... <laughs> please don't touch me. Did she start crying? Please stop. That thud <laughs> tear come out real strong. Please stop. <laughs> I'm sure I'll jiggle. <laughs> Every time y'all see what's up, bitch. God damn it. Y'all get better than this. That's why I stayed home last time. That's why she don't go to the club. She's not bumping into people. Exactly. Excuse me. God damn it. And it automatically picks up the tempo of the song, too. <laughs> Ew. Why was that the song? Out of all the songs you could have picked, my, my shoulders to move to. Do, do, do. <laughs> Shoulders out here whispering to bitches. <laughs> you like shit. <laughs> You're on a Lauren Hill album. I can't, I can't have your shoulder moving in the club to Lauren Hill. <laughs> this is gonna be some brand new. <laughs> so it has to be the Yin Yang Twins. <laughs> That's the furthest from Lauren Hill that you can get. I love it here. God damn it, we're different. <laughs> we can't do an album that I know next time. <laughs> 
The shoulder's moving too freely over here. <laughs> freely? <laughs> But other than the, the beat, that thing is everything was it was an I right song all together. The beat is really what made it. Yeah, song. everything. That's another repetitive one. Because I'm pretty sure that's the one where she uh like both verses are kind of the same. Yeah, and you're like, damn it, bitch! Like, <laughs> you have the lyrics to switch like this up. Where it's just kind of like just goes. But like she shows that she has the potential. You- yeah. Damn it, that might bump it down to a seven because she shows she's got the potential. The, the talent. To, to literally switch up everything every single time. But then sometimes she's just like, you know what? Nah. <laughs> I don't think I will. I'm just going to sit here and chill on this. Like, the songs that are repetitive, I think she was going for like... To, to, to get that message songs, across. Like, I need you to hear these words. Not even just that. I feel like those songs, all those songs are kind of like interlude vibe songs, but they're five, four minutes long, so they just seem repetitive. Because mm. everything and everything was a minute and a half, two minutes. It would just kind of be like, oh, it was an interlude. Four um, minutes and fifty seconds of everything is everything. <laughs> but like I said, that that repetition, I, I really feel like it's to get a message. Even in in doo that thing, she's like, "How you gonna win when you ain't right with them? How are you gonna win?" You like, damn, I'm like, how am I gonna win? <laughs> 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 but to me, that's a bar. Yeah, it is. But 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 still, like every like, I feel like most of the songs that are have that repetitive aspect, it's like she's really trying to get Yo, that I'm message across. That's my shit though. <laughs> You she my say, I guess it, I guess you're right. Because like I, I was thinking hard about that. You, it, it, yeah, but I make it be like me, though. That was I'm the thing. Win. I didn't, like, I did, I didn't want that. this. <laughs> I didn't need to be thinking about that hard about that simple sentence. <laughs> the miseducation of Lauren Hill. Banger. About. Agreed. She was speaking that truth. Agreed. That shit was serene for no reason too. Mm. I was like, damn. Yeah, with that beat breakdown, stop moving. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna say they got exactly. it. I see stop. it. I see it. <laughs> I, mean, I see it popping out. Please. <laughs> <laughs> and I seen her looking at me at the corner of her eye. I knew she was. I knew. Oh, uh, I was I, I, I was tempted to pop the shoulder. <laughs> you <don't> stop. <laughs> Keep the shoulder stand. Ew. I'm gonna throw a dollar out. <laughs> <laughs> Catch this little shoulder, bitch. I was so mad. She was like, oh my god, damn it. I'll be so mad. I'm like, yeah. That's my first rodeo. Hey, I don't know. That little bitch just starts swinging her shoulder. I'm like, everybody looks at me in their eyes. Is our shoulder move like that? I'm like, I wouldn't know what to do. It's like a, a strip club, though. You better throw your shoulders back at him. Yeah, that's too much seduction. <laughs> like, like, imagine watching this. But like, like somebody like, start right. That's what I'm saying. You see both of them looking at each other across the room like this. Like imagine the, someone the starting middle, that like, off. Like, like, like y'all, y'all make eye contact and somebody starts going. I mean, <laughs> and then they're just like, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> and literally on the same people way. And are like, no. <laughs> you know they were a witch and it was a spell. And all of a sudden, you're just like, you're like, no. Goddamn no, Jezebel. No. <laughs> That's how it started. No. That's how they said the witch trial started. He's like, Set him on fire. <laughs> so we gotta do something about this. Throwing these bitches right now. This is getting out of hand. In the corner, just looking at you like this. Just like, just looking at you like. I can't, I can't stop moving my. <laughs> and a whole trans, <laughs> siren ass bitch. <laughs> what are you in with her shoulder? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> can't take my eyes off of you. Whole bop for me. Which, which is a great song. I love that song. I love that song. That's another repetitive. That's a that's a real hardcore repetitive one though. It is. She she does say the same thing in. But like I said, it's not her fault. It's in, not her original song. Yeah. That, that's not original. What it is? It's just that all over and stuff. Like, oh. Yeah. Oh, I got. We gotta hear that. I have to hear the original too because the original is, the original is by his name Frankie V. I think his name is. But there's a there's a girl version that I remember. In my head, you were going to say Frank Sinatra, and I was going to be like, no, you lying. When you said Frank, I was, I was thinking Kaminsky. Ew. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even want to know why. <laughs> you said Frank. Moving forward. It can't be Kaminsky. That's gross. I know. And then tell him the last one. 
The view, saw, it, it, it was, I liked it as an ending. Yeah, it was a... It felt very Lauryn Hill. Yeah. So did this whole album. That's, that's, that's true. It's all fair. That's very true. Yeah, it was... It felt very Lauryn Hill. But, like, you know... You know when something just is like, mm, this is a Lauryn Hill-ass song. That was Tell Him. I was like, damn... <laughs> I feel like I need to be wading in the water with some wow, some some reiki beads or some shit like, like wading in the water. Bitch, tell him we are love. Like, okay, bitch, what? Okay. Oh, you better tell that nigga. Okay, you with your little rain stick, <laughs> bitch. That's what I'm. So what can you that. do? It's Lauren Hill. Okay. <laughs> exactly. The, the the what's it called? The incense must be burned. Okay, she she she, she brought you in with lost watched. ones and and and, and ended you with tell him. Said the sage must be watered. Okay. The sage must be burned. Just the vibes <laughs> <Is it> must <laughs> be felt. A lot of senses going on in this education. We love it. We love and that for at her. At the end, you must be educated. Anyone at the end of this album who is miseducated is ignorant. I feel like we need to snap for this nigga just now. He's I didn't know what the last word was gonna be. Okay, right, like, he still got his wrist going too. Just. It's Bad bitch wrist. It's a sage being wafted. That is a sage wafted. Wafted, you got it. Why'd you taste it? Yeah, sense it with whatever that you got. You got to feel it with the waft. All, 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 all the senses. Feel it with the waft. Into the nose. Yeah. And out through the... <laughs> and out through the... <laughs> That's the final stage. You're like, oh. Mm. But... <laughs> also, she's a bad bitch. Okay? She is a bad bitch. But way y'all... Well, since we already kind of had a discussion about it, we got some good beat is on there. Zion. <clears throat> I agree. Zion. I'm going with everything is everything. I'm going with everything is everything too, but I got to go back to Zion. Because <laughs> I feel like my shoulders are in jeopardy when I listen to this, and I'm afraid of that. I feel hold like on, hold on. You know what? We're just going to... You can't play it. I, you don't have to play that. You can play <laughs> just a snippet of it. You don't have to... Fuck. That awkward moment when you're, <laughs> your shit all the way down. That is hella fancy. Tell me that shit don't got your shit. It did. I'm in. You done. You it was done. like it was, it was very Spy Kids esque. Like you know, like Tigger Van Dyke walks in the room and it's okay. like, okay, like shit. This nigga said Legend of Zorro ass. <laughs> yeah, like puss in boots ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's name is Carlos. Okay, yeah. Carlos Santana and this bitch. Yeah, he, was, he was not playing. Carlos Santana did what he had to do. So. Yeah, yeah, he always does though. We applaud that nigga. Okay. Yeah, Give us some golf claps. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I got everything and everything, but that is a very close one. Just because that intro is too smooth to be yeah. to be ignored. We we, we, have, we have to give it his credit for credit to do. Uh, the best hook. Mm. I think possibly. This I, is, I'm, I think I'm gonna go with that uh, or I'm, I'm gonna go with a uh, D'Angelo song. <laughs> This normally Ooh. even matters. Can't take my eyes off you. My favorite hook. That song is like ninety five percent hook. <laughs> She's like coming in. I need you, babe. I'll be like, God damn it, sing with your throat, bitch. I hear you. <laughs> That's the throat singing. Again. <laughs> <laughs> sing with your throat. Throat bro. singing, shoulder shouldering. Exactly. There's just a lot going on. <laughs> a whole lot of shit going on. You're welcome. <laughs> Finger snapping. And that verse. <sighs> Shit, I don't even know. Have we ever done best verse? Yeah, yeah. It's the hardest one to do though, but it is because there's. I don't think I'm, I have to go back to um. The um, um, lost ones is up there. I'm doing every ghetto, every city. <clears throat> Any of them. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna go. The, I'm gonna go the uh, first verse of Zion. Yeah, yeah I was saying that too. That's just neat. I had Zion as my second, but I was like, Lost Ones was a good solid verse until it gets to the You Are the Lost One. I'm like, oh. And even even though we already got Do Up as Best Hooks, that was a great verse there, too. A couple of great verses. But Zion it might be it, because that's like my favorite overall. Yeah. Solid song, solid album. That's kind of how my overall feel was. It's just like, it's just a solid album. Yeah. It all works. 
it's something that I used to, um, I used to play Lauren Hill's Pandora Station in my car all the time. So like every single time I got in, the a song from this album would play first. And so this album has a special place in my heart. I feel like I was about to cry just now. <laughs> I look like I was about to cry. I started working my heart. <laughs> like, 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 damn, if you too big. I'm over here, I'm over here sniffling. <laughs> damn it. Like, this, ain't even, this, this is one of my first couple times here in Philly. I'm just like... Like, it's a lot. I was like, we're all over here crying. We got to bum it up to an eight. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> I, I, I feel the same. But... I, still, I do too. It was a joke. And I feel like she low-key held yeah, that. Like, like, I feel, I feel like this... Joke on her. But it's also Lauren Hill's... Um, <laughs> I think she wanted to do another one. And they were just, like, doing too much with it. I don't remember the full story. But I, I know they definitely should have been a follow-up album to this. Like, it, it set it up really? perfectly. I'm going to say, if she would, if she would come out with another one, I would... I would listen to it immediately. And she still got them, them young vocals. I'm sure she could still do it. Like, oh, I'm absolutely. Sure everything in the series. I could, I could do this again. But I don't want a Lauryn Hill from today. Lauryn Hill from 99. I, I do want a Lauryn Hill from today. I want to know what Lauryn Hill got to say about everything. I would be saying that if Ooh. I got the one from 99 to 2000 that we should have got. I feel you. That is true. But, like, we can't do that. So but like, I, think it's, I think it would work in the exact same way it did then. Because the, how the message was like that and everybody else was rapping about this. It would, I thought like it would be perfect timing because people were talking honestly, about walking and stuff like that. Did she come back in? Like, nah, y'all got wanted to go into the archives and just release it. it this would this would be the perfect time for a Lauren uh, a Lauren Hill release because everybody would feel that shit. Yeah, like I mean, just like all the, the stuff she could talk that's about going on right now. Yeah, like, it, it would be perfect timing for like. It would I'm over here getting chills just thinking about <laughs> it. Like, <laughs> just thinking about what the album should be fire. Okay, her cocoa butter skin coming here, like. Baby, Lauren, you ain't have to do this to us. I'm glad you <laughs> she, did. She has perfect skin. I she she does have incredible skin. I was like, gonna say that. Like she's this back. one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. I feel like the '90s had some album. great skin people. It really like Gabrielle Union's Union skin was yep. was, was perfect back Neil. then. Tatiana Ali. Like, you said Neil Long. That's what I was about to say too. Tatiana <laughs> Ali's brown skin was just like, bitch. Will you melt on me, please? <laughs> Like, like the melanin is it's just too it's much just, for me to It's just there, and I'm then like the skin was the melt on me. Always clear. Like, don't, don't do it, it, won't, it won't work the same, but you're bad. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna melt on a real one. She's like, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that restraining order. <laughs> hit you with hey, that smooth nine one one. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm not. That's not my opening line, motherfuckers. Listen, that's my line when I'm already know they're about to melt on me. You know what I'm saying? Like. So go ahead. Aiming in. They're like, uh, we're gonna go ahead and nah. nah. I'm nah. about to melt nah. on you and then you add. Nah. Listen, listen, here's what you do. Here's what you do. Here's, your choice. here's what you do. I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna tell her tell her to melt on me right before I ask her who lives in the pineapple under the sea. So like, right. she's yes. already in the zone. This is a callback. Okay, <laughs> this is not a callback that I was ready for. I don't even think this callback is on camera. I just know what it's about. So. Loki, that was the perfect callback though. Y'all don't know what it is, but I do. We do. And, and, I, and I'm not happy about it. And it was a perfect callback. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy about this. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, well, you showed us to this outro. Y'all better, y'all better, y'all better hit the wheezy wee and phone home. See y'all next time on the on the shoulder box. box. On the shoulder box. Not the shoulder box. The shoulder box.